Do you think more enterprises um, from the traditional uh, sort of cybersecurity space uh, will will jump into this market? And uh, what do you think the impact of that will be as sort of mainstay technology companies, not just Facebook and Facecoin, but folks like Symantec, RSA, McAfee sort of jump into this area? What do you think the impact of that will be? So... The traditional model of security is one on protecting concentric circles of access um, based on firewalls, based on access controls, based on uh, pro procedural process and operational controls. That model assumes that there is a privileged center that has access to all of the information, and then you have concentric layers which are more and more open, which have less and less valuable information. The problem with that model is that the Internet destroyed that model. And the reason it destroyed it is because the center has the most stale, uninteresting information possible. And all of the collaboration and content building and the great richness of our information society operates in the public sphere on the outermost circle. And worse, if you build these types of security mechanisms, you end up isolating the people inside those walls and making it difficult to, for them to access these services. I don't know if you ever tried from a corporate environment to access certain websites that you know are wealth, wealth of information. They have this wonderful resource that you want to download, and it pops up a little message that says, your administrator has blocked access to this website because it contains objectionable material. Well, that is the story of modern security in a nutshell, that little message right there. Um, and this uh, idea of turning inwards and building walls and keeping out the hordes, keeping out the barbarians of the big open public internet, is reflected in our society. It's a medieval idea. It's a medieval idea of castle walls. And the problem is that you have to open the gates every now and then to let traders and food in, otherwise you starve. And in the information age, you starve by irrelevance and lack of access to information. So traditional security companies are welcome to come into this new space of open public blockchains. And what they can learn is we have a new model. And this new model is an open public platform that ensures security not by restricting access, but by collaboration through game theory through mechanisms that have game-theoretic output or outcomes based on incentives and punishments that operate through an embedded monetary system that ensures that people behave according to both self-interest and in alignment with the consensus rules. This is an incredibly powerful new security model for open access to information as well. We can use it to re-decentralize the web. We can use it to open information that needs to be open. It puts the ultimate control and responsibility over security into the hands of the individual key holders who control their own destiny and moves that data back into their hands. It is a non-custodial model for security, which also means a non-custodial model for identity, a non-custodial model for your personal data. We can use this new security model to fix the web, which has lost some of its original promise. But don't fret, because out of the compromised, surveillance-laden web that we have today, out popped the black swan of Bitcoin. It's still capable of delivering surprises. It's still capable of delivering freedom in disruptive viral packages that you cannot stop. And it will do it again and again and again. And now Bitcoin has popped out another 2,000 systems that emulate that model and is exploding that space of innovation. Security has also been massively disrupted by this model.